Hey guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I want to start a series on my channel. I want to start doing um, kind of like a rainbow theme, almost like one week we'll do a red look and then the following week it's orange and then we by the end of the series we'll have done a look inspired by every single color of the rainbow so um yeah um i did a look in the past where i did rainbows on my eyes um, and I was kind of looking back at my photos and I was really inspired by that photo, but I didn't just want to recreate that photo. I wanted to take ideas from that photo. So, yeah. Um, for the palette, I'm going to use the OG Jaclyn Hill palette. You've seen this a bunch of times. Um, she recently came out with a new one and I want to see if I can get that one, hopefully sometime in the near future, because I do love this palette a lot, but I'd love to have the other one so they can complement each other. And the reason why I'm using this one is because it has the most variety of reds, because the other palettes I have, they either have like burgundies or like one vibrant red and then there's no other reds to complement them. So I figured I'd just use this one. So yeah, let's just get started. So I'm going to start off with my primer, which is the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. I've been using this for I don't know how long. And now that we've primed, we can go in with foundation. And I use the Tarte Found Sealer Foundation in the shade 22 Light Beige. And I'm going to need a new one because this one is slowly running out. So I'm just going to make tapping motions and then just put that in and then we should get down the neck, the ear, and then just kind of blend it all in. I could definitely use another pump, but I just want to use what's left on my brush because sometimes a little goes a long way. Yeah, so I'll definitely need like another like half a pump, not even. Because sometimes if you put too much, then it just kind of looks icky. So I try to only use what I need because then I just end up wasting a whole bunch of product. Okay, so now that our foundation is on, we can go ahead and conceal. And I like to use the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I also want to try the new one they came out with. I think it's the Pretty Fresh one. I've heard a lot of good things about that one. Now I'm just going to put the concealer under my eyes. Pour it. Bridge of my nose and the forehead. A little on the cupid's bow and some on the chin. And I'm just using the same brush. Um, all of my brushes are from Morphe. They came in the Grand, Grand Masters Glam set. So they don't have numbers on them. But those are the brushes I'm using. And if I use a different brush, I'll let you know. So I'm just blending out that can Sealy, kind of like tapping. I like 
to use swipe motions all that often. Sometimes I feel like it pulls at my face, so I just use like a gentle pat or like a circular motion. Okay, I think that's all blended out. So next I'm just going to go into this Maybelline Fit Me uh, Set and Smooth Powder in the shade 225. And I'm just taking a fluffy brush. I'm going to set under my eyes. Which my nose basically everywhere I put that concealer. And then with what's left, I'm just going to blend that in on the rest of my face. Just again, so I don't need any more product. Sorry, coffee break. I just went in with a tiny bit more. That was it. All right. So now that we're all set, I am going to slightly bronze slash contour, and I'm going to use the Morphe Debutante Bronzer. I've been using this bronzer for God knows how long. Maybe like a year, year and a half. Because I know I got this when the Morphe store in Garden State opened. So whenever that opened, that's when I got this bronzer. So I'm just doing the 3E. So it's a 3 on one side, E on the other. Just to get a slight contour. And then to go in... For a more defined look, I'm going to use this Firma 103. And then sometimes I'll just use it to cover my cheekbones. Or if I want to carve my nose out. Just slightly. I don't, I don't, I'm not picky about nose contour. And then I'm going to take the brush I used for my setting. And just blend that out. And just so the bronzer can nicely blend in to the face. There we go. And for blush. Trying to get for blush, I'm going to use the Kylie Cosmetics blush in the shade Barely Legal. I'm just taking an angled blush brush, and this is just a like peachy toned bronzer, uh, not bronzer, blush. So I'm just going in and I'm going to turn the brush just so I can like grip. The cheekbones, so I'm starting at the apples of my cheeks and blending outwards. I love blush, it just gives you that like burst of color back after we kind of roll down. And then I put a little on my nose, and when I do bronze, I put some on my forehead just to kind of match. Bronzer, it just gives you that kind of sun-kissed look that we all want. And for highlight, I'm going to use this Milani one. It's After Glow Strobe Light Instant Glow Powder. And I'm just going to take a Morphe brush. This is like a champagne rose gold highlight. I got it from Walmart, I believe, for like $7.00.
and it's a super pretty highlight. I call this my glow on the go because I know I could just and just be done because sometimes you have to build them up but this one like one swipe and you're good I'm just gonna put a little on my forehead that's it and then to move on to the eyeshadow I'm just Getting out all of my brushes. Ah. And I think that's So I'm going to prime my lids and I'm going to use the MAC Painterly Pink Pot. I don't know how my eyeshadow would be if I didn't use this product. Because I think before, I used to use concealer, and that works, but I just kind of like how tacky this is, and it doesn't, like, set, like, you can set it if you want, but I don't. I like the tackiness, and I feel like my shadows stick better, and they are just far more pigmented, so I'm just... Laying that in my eyes. And you could definitely cut your crease with this, but for cutting my crease, I prefer to use concealer. But you could also use this. So I might use this one to cut my crease. We'll, we'll find out. Um so I'm just going to take a, a large fluffy brush. And going into the Jaclyn palette. I'm just going to take a transition color first. I think I'm going to dip into this shade right here. It's the fourth one. It is called MFEO. I know I forgot what it stands for, but MFEO. I think that's like an inside joke with one of her friends. I really don't know. This palette came out a little bit ago, so really don't know. I'm just putting that in the crease just as a base for the red we are about to use. So going back into that shade, just going to do the same thing to the other eye. Just kind of have a wash of color on there. Then taking a somewhat smaller slash more tapered brush like this i'm going to dip into i believe it's called hunts this red right here and i'm going to put that on top of that brown Just kind of blend those together. Trying to keep it a little bit lower in the crease. So going back into that Hunts shade, right? Yeah, Hunts. 
the colors are on the back. But I know her new one has them on the front, which I personally like a little better. So it's easier to tell what color you're using. So just blending that in there, keeping it a bit low each time. And I'm going to take a brush. I don't know <coughs> what brush this is because my friend left it at my house and I've been using it because she never asked for it slash wanted it back. So I've been using it. Um, and I'm just going to blend all of that together. So it's that M of E O shade that's under the Hunt shade, but I'm just blending them out so we can have a more airbrushed look. It's all about building and blending, so I'm just going back with a little more of that Hunt's shade since we kind of lost the pigment just slightly though like a wash of color and now I'm going to take a smaller brush like this that's more tapered but is you can like put it in that outer corner it just fits perfectly i don't know how to describe it but i'm going to dip into the shades roxanne and jacks they're both kind of this one is more like a this one, uh, <clears throat> Roxanne is more of like a burnt red or like a copper, and this one is more of like a tomato ish red. It's like a deep red. So I'm just mixing those two. And I'm going to put this in my outer corner. Just using circular motion and then blending it outwards to kind of give it that winged effect but still blending inwards so it mashes it together like look at that I mean if you want if you do do your eyeshadow before through your face you can just take a makeup wipe and clean it up but I just like to do my face first that's just how I do it but everyone has their preferences Excuse me. so I'm just doing that same thing putting the brush in the outer corner using circular motions to apply it first and then bring it slowly, slightly inwards. Oh my god, I can't talk. And then pack some on the outer V. And then wing out the shadow. And then I'm going to take that product, that, uh, that brush with no additional product, and blend. And sometimes if the product drags downwards, you can just blend it all upwards. Because I have smallish eyes, so a lot of the product um, tends to get dragged down. So I just take a uh, brush and just blend it all upwards. 
like so. Just blending. Now is the time where we can cut the crease. So, yeah. Uh, this time I'll use my Mac Paint Pot to cut my crease. I don't normally do this, but you know, I'm about trying new things. So I'm just cutting my crease like I normally would. Like that. I kind of like using this now because it doesn't get everywhere as much as the consumer would. It's easier to kind of just like put there and then just blend out. So let's see how shadows apply. So since this, ooh, my neck went kind of stiff. Um, since this is kind of a red look, I want to stick more with that like red tone so there are these two reds um this one ooh, i don't know if you can see this one is like a deep red and then this one is more of like a copper ish red mm, give me one second to ponder There's this one and this one. Mm. I don't think either of them are going to work. I think there's just a lot of red. I mean, they could probably work, but it would just overpower the look. So I think I'm going to do this one on the corner here. It's like a pinkish duo chrome color. It's called Obsessed. Let me swatch it with a clean finger. Looks like that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use this one. Okay. Do I like that? I like that a lot. Yeah, that's pretty. I could have also done gold, but... Hmm. Do I do gold? What's the gold in this palette called? Queen. Hmm. We're gonna do gold on top. It's just gonna kind of mute down the gold, make it look a little more natural. So first, putting Obsessed down. And then layering Queen on top. Ew, I like that. Okay, that's pretty. I didn't want the gold to be too overpowering. So I think muting it with that pink color was a good choice. So I'm just gonna blend a little because this outer corner looks a bit harsh. And then, of course, we have to do 
an inner corner highlight. So I'm just going to take this Lunar Beauty brush and I'm going to try to find my here it is. My super shock shadow from Colourpop in the shade Hi Ho, which is in collaboration with Disney. And since this is a dual ended brush, I'm just going to take a flat edge and dip into the product. It looks like that. It's just like a white with a duochrome pink, and it's just perfect for the inner corner. It's my favorite thing to use in the inner corner with literally any look because it's so versatile. So just going in again and just packing it on the inner corner. It's just so pretty. And I've like literally used this all the time and like I've barely made a dent in it. The other two I have from the Sim collection um, broke. Because, you know, dropped them. That's the only thing. You have to be really careful with these because they break easily. But I know there's ways to, like, fix them. I'm just lazy. Um, so then I'm going to use the Maybelline Last Sensational. I recently picked up this mascara because it was on sale in my local drugstore. So I'm just going to apply a coat of that. And I really like the wand. I don't know if you can really see it. It just looks like that. It just kind of gives your lashes like a natural curl. And it's a really good mascara. And I've been like sleeping on it. Like look how pretty that is. You do have to go in kind of light-handed because it does and will clump up a little. So I just like to take a spoolie when that happens. And I know I have one. So I just like to take a spoolie and kind of comb my lashes. And kind of separate them when they clump up because I don't like clumpy eyelashes. If you do, that's totally your preference, but I, for one, do not. I'm just making sure to get all the excess off the brush. It's just a really pretty, really volumizing mascara. Ah, great. And I like that. <laughs> so that's the look. And I'm just going to apply a morphe lip gloss this one is in the shade rose it's like a really light pink and you could definitely put this on top of a 
like any lipstick I just like to wear it on its own and I'm going to spray some Urban Decay All Nighter so I can wear this look throughout the day also another perk of this mascara is it doesn't run when you want to spray your face because I've had um what's called uh, mascaras that claim to be waterproof this one doesn't but when you spray setting spray it'll run and I'm like this is supposed to be a waterproof mascara with the teeth or why is it doing that so it's just kind of weird um and then I just kind of take a powder brush and just go on top of the spray just so you can just pack that all in so it just doesn't like sit on top of your skin does that make sense so this is the final look sorry that took a bit longer than i would have liked it to but now i was just kind of going through the motions so this is the final look just a really pretty kind of natural look going out with friends or just hanging around um yeah so i hope you enjoyed this video and if you want me to continue the series that i hope to do comment down below um be sure to like comment and sub sub subscribe oh, i can't talk you know the drill always remember be a pineapple stand tall wear a crown be on the inside bye guys